All right, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachel Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who teach well. Much peace and mercy to the whole flood. You brothers and you sisters, wholeheartedly waiting upon the Lord Yahweh to send his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to deliver us from this captivity. To you, I say Shalom. In this video, <clears throat> it's going to be a a quick video um, about alms. You know, I was reading Tobit, the fourth chapter, started around the seventh verse, and you know, it just it just made me think about how important alms is. You know, and I'm gonna read it Tobit four and seven. Give alms of thy substance, and when thou givest alms, let not thy eye be envious, neither turn thy face from any poor, and the face of the Most High shall not be turned away from thee. So, you know, when uh, when you look into the law, it talks about how there, you know, there's going to be poor. You know, there's there's going to be poor. No matter how well Jake was doing, there were always there were always uh, a group that that you know didn't have much substance that's why when you were gleaning your vine vineyard you could not glean the entire vineyard you would leave some for the poor and, and, and for the ox oxen or your cattle you see so there was a, a welfare system so to speak for for um you know the daily bread of the poor verse 8 if thou has abundance give alms accordingly if thou have a but a little, be not afraid to give according to that little. You see, and this is uh was something Paul was saying when he said I when I um uh had abundance, you know I I know how to abound, and when I had um, little, I knew how to be abased. Roughly paraphrasing, and this is something that we have to learn as well. You know when we are in abundance. Uh, it is good to give alms, you know, and it's not always money. It could be a, a service. It could be, you know, uh, you, you just pick up a brother for class, you you know, drop him off. It could be, um, you know, anything. Things that that would lighten uh, the burden of the next brother, you see. And then also it could be shekels, it could be money. A brother might be tight on shekels. You know, you take a collection to help that brother out. And you 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 assist. You know that's alms as well. So you give according to what the Lord has uh, blessed you with. If you have abundance, you give accordingly. You know, I don't mean give your whole check. Oh yeah, you know, I just gotta my my check Friday. I'm gonna go ahead and give this whole check up. No. No. Pay your bills. Make sure everything's solid. You got groceries. You got all that stuff situated. And you got extra, you know, give accordingly. Don't go broke, <laughs> you know, trying to think, oh, scriptures say don't be over-righteous, man. But when you have little, it says, be not afraid. Be not afraid to give according to that little. Because there's times where we are, you know, in the lowest state. It are It is times where, where you, you might not have as much money coming in. That's just the flow of things. That's how. That's the balance of things. The Lord said what? He hates a false balance. So we're going to go through modes where we're in abundance and we're going to go in, in, into uh, times where we have little. However, it says what? Verse 9, For thou layest up a good treasure for thyself against the day of necessity. So no matter if you're in abundance or if you have a little, when you give alms according to the substance that you have, you're laying up a treasure for what? It says the day of necessity. What's the main day of necessity? Jacob's trouble. Daniel's the 12th chapter. Jeremiah 30 and 7. The time when 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 um, the enemy shall come in like a flood. The day of famine. You're laying up treasures for, for, for that day of necessity. Right? When everybody's... Uh, starving and hungry, thirsty, 
no shelter, no clothes on their back. Hey, Yahweh Shem Yahshai is gonna look at your deeds, and 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 he's going to uh, bless you for them. And if your deeds were were good, you're gonna receive good. If your deeds were 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 evil, you're gonna receive evil. Verse ten, because that alms do deliver from death, and suffer not to come into darkness. For alms is a good gift unto all that give it in the sight of the Most High. So alms is good in the sight of the Most High. You know? Alms is good in the sight of the Most High. So when you take the the, the, t the time and the, the money out to assist a brother that's in need, that's a good um, action within the sight of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. And you're going to, yeah, it says what? You're going to lay up a good treasure for thyself. So don't, don't, uh, don't hold back your hand from giving alms. Don't give alms with a clenched fist. You see? It may be that the Lord will have, have mercy on you, man. Have mercy on us. Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. We, we uh, be of the elect and we, we get up out of here soon. So I just wanted to make this real fast through the spirit. I want to give all praises again to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.